because oh <laughs> it's on the video and I've been trying to do this all week <laughs> and for five years and I've been carrying this sucker around with me. <laughs> I had a lot of things I wanted to say right now and I can't think of any of them <laughs> and I'm sick of screwing with that camera but bring us to this day has been no small feat. Some might call it a miracle. Your journey began long before you sent out invitations, chose this beautiful venue, and decided to spend the rest of your lives together. Bailey, I would like to start this letter in the best way that any man could an apology. <laughs> I'm sorry I made you wait eight months before you asked me to date you, and I said yes. I'm sorry I then made you wait like five more years before I asked you to marry me, but you know I was waiting for the right time, and I wanted it to be perfect. I'm sorry I froze up on my proposal, and all I could say was the ring box matches your pants. I love you. Will you marry me? <laughs> I'm sorry we had to wait another two years to get to this day, but hopefully I can redeem myself in what I'm about to say. That's all I <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> sweetie. <laughs> I laugh now thinking back to then as a 20-year-old college kid. I thought I was undateable, and the kind of man I was looking for it didn't exist. That, of course, all changed after just one conversation with you. Since the day I met you, I've never been able to picture another day without you. I've never known an unconditional love as strong as yours, and you believe in me when I don't believe in myself. God has blessed my life in so many amazing and wonderful ways, but not the least of which is that he gave me the privilege of watching my daughter grow up to be a beautiful, talented, intelligent, and capable adult. Bailey, I'm so proud of you. And I love you with all my heart. Thinking back since meeting you, it has been quite the roller coaster. Three years of long distance, filled with long drives and tearful goodbyes. We've each had multiple jobs, finished and started school, and lived in more places than either of us care to count anymore. But amongst all the uncertainty, the only thing that has always, the only thing that has always made 100% sense is you and us. This day is a reminder of both what your love has already accomplished and overcome, and the amazing possibilities of what it can continue to accomplish in the many, many years ahead of you. There's not a doubt in my mind that today I'm not only marrying my best friend, but my partner for life. Our journey so far has not been easy. We spent many years apart in the beginning of our relationship. But looking back on those days, I wouldn't change a thing because it's led us to this incredible day and the days that lie ahead. And I can't wait for all the adventures we'll go on in this life. Bailey, you're beautiful inside and out. Your laugh is infectious. You're funny. 
You're the most thoughtful, considerate person I've ever met. I'm extremely lucky to have you. I love you more than anything in this world. Thank you for being you. You're my best friend. And you're irreplaceable. Kyle, I vow to always treat you as my equal. I promise to support you no matter what path your career leads you in. I'll always give you my best effort to match your dedication and hard work to achieving our life goals. I promise I will always strive to love you unconditionally as you so graciously choose to love me. And finally, above all, I vow to always put our relationship, our love, and our friendship first. I vow to always love you, to always support you, and to always be there for you in times of need. I vow to continue to laugh with you and to keep our lives adventurous and exciting. I vow to always treat you as my equal, <laughs> respect you, and always be open and honest with you, and never to stop saying I love you. I have a few wishes for the two of you. One, may you remain the most fit couple I know. That one's obvious. Uh, two, may you have at least three golden retrievers, preferably all at once. And three, as Kyle said, may you two always be the best thing in each other's lives and stay connected in your own strange way. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may seal this declaration with a kiss. Kyle is not just my intellectual equal, he's my intellectual senior. Um, he goes on to earn his master's degree, he's brilliant, yes he's strong and he's capable, but he's also kind and generous and loving. Uh, he's the whole package. Um, very grateful for Kyle. <laughs>